Now, the House of Madras Foundation, HOMEF, has tasked stakeholders in River State to prioritize environmental justice within their communities. At a recent capacity building workshop in Okriga Town, aimed to equip participants with skills for environmental monitoring and advocacy, HOMEF's program manager Stephen Oduari called for an end to the major challenges of gas flaring and oil pollution affecting local communities. He emphasized the importance of building effective networks and alliances to advocate for the right and well-being of these communities. Additionally, a facilitator, Kintembe Ebiarido, spoke about the power of community unity and solidarity in achieving local developmental goals. Then we are asking um, for three things that the rights of the community people need to be recognized, the rights of the community people need to be protected, and ultimately they need to be supported. This community needs to thrive again. Um, gas flaring needs to stop, oil pollution needs to stop, um, cleanup and remediation needs to happen in these communities and reparation needs to also happen to cover for the loss and damage that the community people have experienced and they continue to experience. The essence of it was to just uh, see how communities can come together and talk among themselves and the importance of oneness in the community because without oneness everybody will just be talking in silos and when you talk like that you don't get anything done. So the most important thing about all of this is that how communities can leverage on solidarity to people to achieve things for themselves and most especially for their development. Now, some of the participants expressed gratitude to HOMEF and highlighted some of the challenges faced as fishermen and women due to environmental pollution. And we have Dutch Island here, which is about 200 meters away, uh, 200 meters above sea level. Now, the waves that are coming are in from the sea tankers, the uh, vessels coming to that at the NMPC uh, jetty over here are eating that place up because it is some field. Because of this impact of environment, because we are not together, everything because of uh, how do we say greed and selfishness, self-centeredness, we've lost it all. But with this program that you've told us today, I think uh, we are taking something home. Secondly, we are facing the flood, of course, which I have said before. Today, we are having flood. A lot of houses around this place is uh, being flooded. You can see water gushing in, salt water gushing into houses, and uh, they will be building houses in this modern time, which is, of course, an eyesore. And when the world sees it, I, I know that uh, they will come to our aid. So what you have done today it has been the limelight in our life, and this has been things we've been looking for in Okreka local government area, most importantly in Koniju town in Okreka. Ah, river fish no day. We the struggle, fish no day. We craft fish no, no day with the struggle. That's why we can't enter uh, bush by bush to find craft fish. It had some. Now the oil, no oil people now they spoil the river. I've been mean, a God to say, make, uh, be like God help us now, if not, we don't see fish. Uh, oil too much for river, the warriors were well, well. And with uh, the thief people for river, the warriors, to go for river self with the fear. Any, anywhere go enter, they can't worry. The one way you get, they take off my hand. My master, they know, they know, no. The, this meeting, I bless, the one important for my body. As I say, I enjoy them, I like them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.